Yo, what up? My name is Derek, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do Amazon affiliate marketing. Now, some of you might not know what Amazon affiliate marketing is, and that's why I have this video here. That's why I'm making this video here. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys the basics of Amazon affiliate marketing, and I'm going to show you guys some examples of what current people are doing for Amazon affiliate marketing. Um, I'll show you um, a couple YouTube channels, a couple of blogs, and some stuff. So let's get into this. So first of all, um, I'm going to talk about the Amazon Associates and how it works. So first of all, I'm here at this page. Um, if you want to, if you want this link, just look up Amazon Affiliate Program Percentage, and it will show up um, with this. And so essentially, this is all the stuff you need to, to know about how much you're going to earn from affiliating a program. Now, if you don't know what affiliate program, like what it is, like affiliate marketing is essentially you're advertising for a company and you're making a percentage based off of how much audience you get to the product. So for example, with Amazon, the way it works is, let's say you find a product on here on Amazon. So if we go over to Amazon here and we have, uh, currently it's about to be Easter, so let's just say we're doing Easter stuff. So let's just do uh, this motorized um, Easter egg, right? So what this essentially is gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, have my own custom link and when people click on my link, I'm going to get a percentage based off of this number right here and what the product is. So for example, this one is a, um, if we go back to here, it's more likely a toys section. So it's 3%. So I would make 3% of what this is, right? And so every time somebody buys this product, I get 3%. And then if they use and they buy other products on Amazon, I also get the percentage of what they buy. So um, let me kind of give you guys an example. So if I were to go on Amazon, or let's say I was going on Instagram or something, right? And or TikTok or something, and somebody was talking about Easter eggs or Easter something with Easter, where they're like, this product's really cool, you know, Easter is coming up, you should probably get this, or they're talking about things like um, uh, TikTok, maybe buy it or whatever. Essentially, what you want to do is you want to look at that and be like, okay, this is probably a affiliate link, but this is a kind of a cool product. Maybe you go on there and maybe it's like, oh, I kind of like this. I want to buy it. So they most likely have an affiliate link in there. So they get a commission. You click on the link and you are in Amazon and you've clicked on their link. And most likely what's going to happen is if you buy the product right here, you'll get, they'll get the 3% right then and there. Now, if you buy more on Amazon, let's say you spend for Easter, maybe you spend like $500 on stuff, right? They get the percentage on whatever you bought. So if they bought all types of different sections, right, you can see there's different categories or what whatnot. So if they buy different, like, let's say they buy a um, couple things for health and personal stuff, that's 1%, right? Or um, the toy stuff, right? That's 3%. Or maybe they want to do some beauty products. That's another 3%. So whatever they buy, that's essentially the percentage that you're going to, that you're going to get on your product and it's in 24 hours so as soon as they click on your link it's 24 hours that all of that all of those percentages apply to that account okay so keep that in mind and uh over time um if you have multiple different products with all with multiple different niches um it'll be helpful for you to get more people to buy products in different niches and make a little bit more profit based off of what niche you're in um if you want you can stick to one niche or you can stick to multiple different niches, or you could do something like Easter where you're sticking to specific holidays or time periods. So if it's summertime, summer's coming up, maybe people want to buy things for summer, um, maybe like like um, swim trunks, or maybe they want to get like um, towels, or maybe they need something like su like sunscreen, some, just some random stuff that's for summer that they need for summer. You, you, you make an advertisement for it on your whatever you're using, TikTok, Instagram, or whatever, and you're just talking about this product that's being really good, and then you link it in your description, and then people or your your bio, or whatever, and then people click on that link, they buy it from you, and that's pretty much what they do. And let me kind of give you some examples of what this is. So this is a website that I've or a YouTube channel that I found on uh, TikTok here or on on YouTube here. And inside of here, you can see that essentially what they're doing is they're talking about the top five of this and this. So for example, they have the top five best budget DSLR cameras of 2022. They had that same thing with the gaming chairs, with electric skateboards, with Android smartphones, with Android TVs, with video doorbells, and so on and so forth. You can see some of the videos are doing better than other videos, as you can see here, right? Like this one got 5K views. Um, this one got 16,000 views, whereas this one only got like 1.2K. But you have to understand it's a 3D printer, right? That's not like a big thing people are looking up, right? Ultrabooks, people are looking that up for school or for their work or whatever they want to buy that for. 
that's what they're looking up that stuff for, right? So with this website, they're just going, you know, making their top five picks. They make a top, they make 10, a 10 minute video. And essentially when you click on these videos, you're going to see that in the description, these are all Amazon affiliate links. So they have USA links, they have UK links, and then Canada links. So if you click on one of these, they're going to go straight to the Amazon, um, their Amazon um, affiliates um, page with the link in the um, in the URL that's customized to, the, to this specific YouTube channel. So if you look at the um, if you look at the URL up here, you can actually see right up here um, at the end here. Uh, right about here, you can see five best of, you know, you can see the URL code in the actual description or in the URL code. And so every time you buy this, you get a percentage or they get a percentage that um, when you purchase this. So this is $730. And so uh, like we go back here and we look at this. So this is PC stuff, right? Components and stuff like that. So you get 2.5% this company does. Um which is a decent amount of percentage compared to the price of that um, product. So if you do the math here, um, it's about $18.25 that you make when somebody does buy that product. But you have to understand um, that you're not just buying this product. I mean, if you're, if you, like I said, if you have multiple different people that are buying the product, like let's say you have three or four people buy it a day, times this number by three or four, that's $54 or whatever. But you have to understand not only one video is getting views, right? So when this guy uploads videos, he doesn't just have one video that is doing well, right? He has multiple different videos are doing well. You can see, I have a thing called vidIQ. If you want to, if you want vidIQ to see the same statistics, there's a link in the description. You can click that will allow you to essentially do these exact same things when it comes to the views per hour. And you can see this to see how good channels are a little bit of an ad there, but, um, Essentially, you can see this video gets 20, hour, 20 views per hour. This one over here gets 43, 17, 19. This one gets 54, um, 7, 12, 18, right? And the ones down here aren't showing, but if I were to click on one of them, you can actually see the views per hour over here. So this one's at 19. Um, so these, all of these gets views. Um, they get views. And so if we just look at a couple, so let's just take 37, for example, right? If we multiply that by 24, that's 888 views this video gets per day. Right now, let's just say some random numbers. Let's just do like 1% of, on this video. Let's say 1% is actually clicking on the link and buying the product or clicking on the Amazon link and buying products throughout that 24 hours. Let's say it's 1%. So if you multiply this number by 0 0.01, you can see that it's 8.88. That's eight people, about nine people are buying the product. They're actually clicking on the link in the descriptions each day and actually buying a product. So eight people are buying a product. Now let's say that number that you make from affiliates is like 10 bucks. So you multiply this number by 10. That's that's about $90 that you make off of one video. You have to understand that the numbers are not always going to be like that, right? Somebody's going to look up a product. Like if it's a thousand dollar laptop, they're not going to most likely buy it on the spot. But if it's more of something like, uh, like an SD card where it's pretty cheap, then people don't really care to spend a little bit of money right then and there. But if it's like a drone or something where they're like thousands and thousands of dollars, then people aren't going to just go buy the product right then and there. So you have to kind of understand that as well. Um, but that's why you want to tackle all types of niches, like electric vehicles, like electric cars. You're not going to just go and buy a bunch of electric cars right there as you watch that video. No, you're going to probably look at a bunch of other reviews as well because that's just what people do. Now, if you want... And I've seen people do this too. You can tackle this same niche with multiple different YouTube channels. You don't just have to make one YouTube channel that's doing top five picks or like you could make one that's top five picks and then make top, like four or more that are doing the same exact thing, but you just tackle different videos a day, right? So you have the kind of the same idea each video, but you're just tackling it with more videos just to kind of um, get the competition. So that you're just co competing against yourself. I mean, um, I'll talk about the couple blog posts that I've seen in a second, but essentially this is what you want to do. Now, if we want to see how many views they get per day, we can do that. So if we use a program called Social Blade and we paste in our link here, you actually see how many views, uh, how many monthly views they get, as you can see here. Now, first of all, the amount of money that they make is insane, but you have to understand, I don't think they even have monetization on this channel because um, when you click on a video, there's no advertisements, but you can see how much money they could possibly make. Um, but this, but the niche probably doesn't have a very good um, 
like a retention rate and stuff like that. But you can see they get about 70,000 views a day, which is good. You also have to understand they have 574 uploads, all talking about pretty much the same thing where it comes to top fives. So people are looking up different niches. Like there's all types of different niches these guys are in. So they're talking about a lot of different things, right? But you can see they get about 70,000 views a day. So let's just take that number. Let's do 70,000 views a day. And let's say 1% of that are is people actually clicking on the link, okay? And let's say it's a 10% chance that they actually buy the product, okay? That's 70 people that are buying a product from this guy's videos, right? 70 people a day are buying a product. That's like 0.01% of the views that they get, right? Every single day. So we multiply that number even by even by making $10 a day or even $2 or $3 or $4, they're making over $100. So if we do, let's say they make $5 from every single person they buy that buys something on, on Amazon every single day out of those 70 people, that's $350 a day. Now you multiply them by 30 about, that's about, that's about $10,500 a month, which is very, very good money compared to if you're just doing this where you're just making simple videos like this and all you're doing is putting affiliate links in there. So you can make a decent amount of income just doing that. And you can see how their channel has been going, you know, in the past couple, whatever, past months. They don't have the subscribers on, but they, it says here, but this number is probably not right. It hasn't probably been updated for a really long time. But you can see they get a lot of views. You know, some days are better than others, depending on what niches and what, what video you're going to upload for that day. Now, let's get into the next portion of this video, which is essentially talking about blog posts. Now, as you can see, I looked up the exact same thing that I looked up on, on YouTube, which was the top five keyboards. And so right away, you see PC Gamer, you see Artings, you see Tech Radar, Tom's Guide, and so on and so forth. So if we were to click on one of these, you're going to see that it has this kind of like super easy and super simple design. And if we scroll down a little bit, you can see that if it goes by uh, numerical order, so you can see your chronological order here. So you can see number one's here, and you can see they have it on, at Newegg or at Amazon or at Best Buy, and you can also do six other prices. Now, if I were to click on one of these, it is gonna use an affiliate link to essentially give me an affiliate for this. As you can see, affiliates right here in the link, and so what this is gonna do is this is going to essentially give me or give them a percentage every time I buy it from here. Um, now, if you're someone that does like to do um, affiliates and you're, you're going to do affiliates, what I'd recommend doing is finding a bunch of websites that tackle the same thing. So, for example, if you're doing top five keyboards, right, look at companies that sell keyboards. So, Newegg, Amazon, um, I think there's a website called, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but there's another. There's a bunch of other websites. Like Best Buy is another one. Um, you can actually probably click on here and see other websites. But essentially what you want to do is you want to tackle other websites. So here's Walmart. Um, there's probably a bunch of other websites, but as long as the website has an affiliate link, an affiliate program, then use it. Um, if it doesn't have an affiliate code or anything like that, I wouldn't recommend, even if it's the cheapest price, just so you can get an affiliate percentage on it. Now, you might have to do some like diving into you know specific websites that do have um, affiliates. Some, some web websites have the affiliate program built into the actual website. Some of them don't. Some of them you have to do um, external um, providers and advertisers like CJ, Affiliate, Rakuten, Impact. Um, I'm going to make another video talking about those in depth a little, uh, probably uh, in the next week or so. And if you want to follow up on that video, it'll be probably, you can find it on my channel somewhere. Um, but essentially what you're going to want to do is you just want to click on, you know, one of those links. You just want to make a website like this and just put your affiliate links talk about why it's good to buy the specs that it has and some other stuff. Now, what I'd recommend doing is not totally copying these guys. I'd also try to go um, a little bit more towards the performance side. Like um, one thing I know about gaming keyboards is that people try to look at the response time of each key. And so you could talk about that. You could talk about the latency. You could talk about other things that they have that uh, these specific keyboards, like this one has a bunch of other you know, custom features that is that other ones don't have. So you might want to talk about that. Now, this next thing I want to talk about is kind of weird, but it, you have to understand this is just how it's going to be. So uh, with my uh, the YouTube idea I was talking about, I said tackle multiple different niches and tackle multiple different ways and different angles so that you control the area or you control 
the community pretty much or the niche. So if we look at PC Gamer again, and we scroll down a little bit, and we go to Tech Radar, Tom's Guide, Tom's Hardware, um, PC Meg, um, Games Radar, and you can literally see how every single one of these, that's PC Meg, look the exact same, right? They're all the exact same companies. And the thing is, is they're also owned by the exact same company. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you actually see that they're all owned by Future US or Future Us, as you can see here, however that is. And you can see that they all talk about the exact same thing. So here's the top five gaming keyboards. Here's another top five gaming keyboards, right? Here's another top five gaming keyboards. Here's another one. And so essentially what you're going to want to do is you want to just copy this, these ideas as well. I mean, the niches are a little bit hard to hit in, right? But not every niche is that hard, right? Some of them, like these guys upload in every niche. I mean, you look at the top, it says here what they talk about, hardware. This one's reviews about games. This one is more about like tech. Um, like phones and stuff like that. This one's about graphics, like hardware stuff. And then this is also about like games and stuff like that. But they have a lot of other different websites as well, not just the five that I've clicked on. They have like, I think six or seven or so. Um, they talk about literally every niche you could possibly think of and they do it. So that's why I would say try to tackle niches with multiple different aspects of it. Like you can see this company, that all they do is they change a little bit of like the layout, just a little bit. They have different colors. They have a different logo, a different design, and you can just tackle it with different types of um, methods. You can make a whole different website and then just change it up for different niches that you're going to hit. Or you could just put it all on one website. Um, the thing with tackling with multiple different websites is, though, is that you get different you get different search engines. So, for example, if I go here, you can see there's multiple different buttons, Games Radar, PC Mag, or... Um, Times hardware, like there's different clicks. It's not just one website. So you have multiple different chances of multiple people clicking on it and see, like, oh, there's like six websites that all say that the Corsair, um, that the Corsair K100 is the best keyboard. So it must be the best. So I, I could buy, I should buy that one. You see what I'm saying? If multiple different websites are saying it, then people are going to be like, oh, then maybe I should do that as well. So keep that in mind. Um, if you, if you're looking at doing this type of idea, um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it when it comes down to making or figuring out your affiliate stuff. Now I'm gonna be making other videos about like website building and Shopify stuff and affiliate more affiliate marketing. And I'm just gonna be talking about a lot of other aspects of this this stuff, this this field. Um, because I know a decent amount of knowledge about this stuff because I've been learning it for the past couple of years now. And so I kind of know a little bit about it. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I hope this helped you. Uh, if you need any help, let me know in the comments and I will um, help you as best as I can. But anyways, peace out.